Okay, so you can see I've already primed the model at this stage. Now I'm just hitting it with some copper spray paint. And you've got to make sure it's well ventilated as well. That's why the, the garage door's open. Nasty fumes. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get in all the wee areas that are difficult to get to and making sure I've not missed any bits. But yeah, it's uh, pretty clean looking at the moment. But uh, that will soon be changed. Um, so now I'm adding dark washes of acrylic paint. Uh, this is just brown and black that's been watered down. You just need to get in all the wee areas. Um, and then you dab it with a paper towel to get the excess out. And what this does is it, it kind of highlights all your sculpting details. You can see that it's really brought out the the textures and stuff. Um, now I'm adding the blue kind of patina you get on copper, which is just again acrylic paints that are watered down. Just selecting the areas I want to show, um, and it's the same process. It's just getting dabbed down, all the excess coming off it. But when the when this dries, it should kind of blend in a bit more. Obviously, right now it looks really you know, really vivid, it's really, you know, prominent. But when that dries, because it's been watered down, it'll, you know, it'll darken and it'll blend in with the, the uh, kind of brownie copper uh, colour, which you should see in the next photo. But, um, but yeah, I'm just, as you can see, I'm just kind of putting it, you know, in the areas I want it to be seen. Um, and just dabbing it down to blend it in a bit more. And when that dries, you can see here, it looks a lot more natural, a lot more um, authentic looking. Um, but yeah.